With regards to my Elite Dangerous content, I primarily want this to be an informative and entertaining channel where I discuss talking points, tips, and show off some of the coolest stuff in the galaxy. It isn't exactly my intention to become a controversial channel, and certainly not a political one, but I felt compelled to explain what ganking was and its importance to the gameplay, and how unfairly gankers and PvPers at large are treated within our community. Upon watching my video defending gankers, many commanders shared their unique perspectives on the matter. One in particular, Walter, took on a dissenting opinion to bring up a few considerations. He writes the following, I was murdered, I laughed it off, but no amount of preparation or cunning could have saved me. The whole execution took 10 seconds, and I was still inside a no-fire zone. You can say this is part of the game, but no game I would want to play. If it wasn't for solo mode, I would quit because what is the point if it can't be prevented? No amount get good would have been effective. Spare me your notions of reality. In the real future, space battles will be like, Admiral, we have intel Boris bad guy will be at Sunny Time base in three days. Okay, send a drone with the biggest bomb we can build to Sunny Time. Next week, we'll find out if we got them. So no, nothing in Elite is realistic. I listened to your video three times, and I seriously doubt you are the victim you claim to be. Most bullies claim victim status. I am sure you deliberately used one of your many trigger words in your diatribe, and this is why you were banned. You were just one of the many that consider compassion and fair play to be a weakness to take advantage of, or at least you are an enabler. Reflect on your words and behavior. I believe you might just know right from wrong, or maybe I have wasted my time reaching out to you. Well, he felt emotionally invested enough to quote unquote reach out to me to try to teach me right from wrong, so I feel that's worth a reply here. But let's get my nitpicking out of the way so we can crystallize and address the heart of the issue at hand unabated. He claims that when he was ganked, no amount of preparation or cunning could have saved him. Although that's a rather large statement to make and begs quite a lot of questions, it may be true. Usually awareness is enough to help you escape these problems before you run into them. But let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say there was nothing he could have done. There are times where you simply cannot win, as with most any game, I'm talking Modern Warfare 2, World of Warcraft, any online game, you're going to end up in situations where the best player in the world couldn't survive. I discussed this in the ganking video that sometimes it isn't fair when someone suddenly attacks you out of the blue, whether you're in game or in real life. This is part of the emotion of gameplay. He says he was still in the no-fire zone. Yes, some gankers do do that, as they like to play the psychopath commanders, I suppose. It is very dishonorable, as I said in my former video, but it's still part of the risks of the game. Before leaving dock, I often check if there are player commanders around, and I keep an eye on them for this reason. It makes leaving docks much more interesting because of the danger. And I dock at Jameson, so... I usually almost always see something interesting, to say the least, when I try to leave station. Third, he started his post with, I was murdered, I laughed it off. Then after he described the event, he says, if this is part of the game, it's no game I want to be playing. This doesn't sound like laughing it off to me. This sounds like rage quitting. I believe what this commander is attempting to say is that he gave good attitude a chance, but I'm unconvinced. He then says, spare me your notions of reality. I believe my assertions of reality were along the lines of, sometimes in real life you don't get much of a chance when a random psychopath attacks you, such as if someone suddenly pulls a gun on you, you probably aren't going to have a fair fight. I don't see what's untrue about that, but Walter states this is a moot point as he knows how space battles will go in the future. I think Walter must be vastly more intelligent than myself because I personally don't know how space battles will go in the future, or if there even will or could be space battles at this level of technology in the future. But given what limited knowledge we have of space travel and warfare, Walter does give us an estimation on how he believes it will go, of course relating it to the large distance and time involved in space travel, and apparently bombing random stations to kill a single outlaw. But that's all fine and good. His point was that Elite Dangerous is not meant to be realistic, as in it shouldn't have realistic danger either. My response to that is simply, eliminating these dangers wouldn't be fun. As I said in my Defense of Gankers video, I do believe that perhaps a balance shift might be indicated to give defenders a little more aid here or there, but overall the concept of being able to be ganked, that is, utterly destroyed quickly by a far more powerful opponent, is necessary to provide an actual atmosphere of danger in the game. I use the concept of having a gun suddenly pulled on you to illustrate how things aren't always fair in combat, not to say that we need Elite to be as realistic as possible. So I guess here Walter can spare himself the notions of reality. Next, he states he viewed my video three times, which I take to mean he wanted to fully understand my point of view before responding to it, which I can respect. However, then he says he doesn't think I'm the victim that I'm claiming to be. Now I question whether he watched my video much at all. I'm sorry, Walter, I'm no victim. At least not the last time I checked. I'm nobody's victim. In anything. Ever. And I certainly didn't claim to be in the video. So as to what you're referring to here, I'm at a loss. But I'll do my best to satisfy your concern here. First of all, I've never 
once been successfully ganked in Elite Dangerous, unless I wanted it to be a setup for a video. I've always gotten away, so I'm not a victim there. Even if I ever do get ganked, I don't consider myself a victim of anything. It's just playing a game and I lost a round, as happens in games. That's what I mean to say when I'm never a victim. That's not my mentality. And I've been ganked in plenty of other games, like BDL recently, when I was fishing and people jumped out of nowhere and attacked my back when my best gear was off because I was fishing. But that was part of that game. And again, I don't consider myself to be a quote-unquote victim in general. Nor did I write letters to the developers complaining about it or try to get the people who ganked me banned. Reading further, perhaps you meant to assert that I was a victim because I, like all bullies, claimed victim status when I was banned because I used a trigger word. Listen very closely here, Walter. This bit is going to shock you. Guess what? I've never once ganked anyone in Elite Dangerous either. Nope, not one time. I've never trolled somebody in Elite Dangerous. I've never attacked somebody unprovoked in Elite Dangerous. I've never done anything of the sort. And guess what? I've never used a trigger word. And I haven't been banned from anything, Walter. I'm not banned on any forum, Reddit, any Discord. I have no warnings. I have no marks against me. Nothing. Where is it that I'm asserting I'm a victim? Could it be maybe I was simply standing up for others? Yeah, I do not like how gankers are treated. I do not like how they and other PVPers are banned for simply existing. I don't like free speech, trigger words or not, being trampled on, so I stand up for it. There's no victim here. Later in your post, you ask if I think about doing the right thing. Well, that's exactly what I'm doing. Walter also says that I shouldn't see weakness as something to prey upon, and that I need to consider compassion. Again, I'm at a loss here. Y you do know this is a video game, right? Here, let's put this into a simple perspective. <sighs> Instead of Elite Dangerous, let's say you're playing a different game like chess. Your opponent makes a poor move due to inexperience and you punish it. Is this preying upon weakness and lacking compassion? I mean, sure it is. Is it evil and ought to get you called a bully, banned from forums, silenced and hated? Nope. Because it's a game, and part of the game is winning, and part of the game is losing. Part of it is silly, stupid, sneaky, uneven, funny, and all other sorts of things in between. There are no victims. It's a game. There are only victims when people take it into real life and ban you on forums and such. And that's not what the gankers do. That's what the anti-ganker militant care bears do. I would argue that my position is the position of compassion, and that the militant care bears are, in fact, the bullies. I would argue that I am in the right, and they are in the wrong. I have stolen every core value. I have stolen every point of logic, every intent and beauty of the gameplay. I have stolen everything. I have taken the higher position in every way simply to defend not myself, but others from hateful, toxic actions. Yes, I'm an overconfident dick, but I'm right. But in the off chance you still think you are, I'll leave you some questions of compassion for you to consider. Do you really think it's okay to treat people as poorly as gankers are treated in real life over what happened in a video game? Do you truly believe speech should be squelched for simply talking about PvP? Do you think they should be banned or that FDev should do something to punish them or save you from being attacked? Do you think guns should do nothing against other players when you shoot them? Or that they simply can't operate at all in a no-fire zone? That they just don't turn on? Should defenders get a magic armor? Would you change the nature of the game for everyone? I want to hear your compassion, or anyone else who hates gankers. Sincerely, let me hear your thoughts. How are you going to make Elite Dangerous a better place? How are you going to make the world in real life a better place? Because again, militant care bears are taking this to real life. You know my ideas. Keep the game the way it is, suck it up, be the best you can be, and treat everyone with respect in real life even if you play enemies online in a game. If my idea is so uncompassionate and ugly, tell me yours. Let's hear your utopia. But I warn you, the road to ruin is paved with good intentions. If you want compassion, let me and other helpful commanders know and we can fight for you in-game. There are entire squadrons of players devoted for exactly that. I think that sounds awesome, I think that sounds fun, and I don't think that could exist if we eliminated gankers. But here's what I won't do. I will not save you with bans, I will not save you with hatred, I will not save you with complaints to FDev, or with duct tape over your offender's mouth. I am no moral compass, but I know right, and I know wrong.